Hey, what's up, metal and heavy music fans? It's Flight of Icarus again with MetalTrenches.com, and today I want to share with you this music video from Babarusa. It's called Catatonia, and it is from the album Humanoid, coming out August 28th. But before I do that, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel if you'd like to stay up to date with the best and brightest metal bands and albums from the underground and above, then hit that button down below. I upload new content every single week. Oh, snap. More seizure. How come every video lately is like seizure inducing? <laughs> First we did Primitive Man, nearly killed me. Then I just did the new Pig Destroyer. Thought it finished me off. Guess we got more coming here. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Nice little... I love those breaks. I've talked about it in a previous video too. I love when the guitar cuts out and the drum just keeps going. I'm sure there's probably like a musical term for that. These vocals are sick, too. This is what caught my attention. Very kind of, like, aborted-esque, the way it quickly alternates between the deep guttural lows and the screechy highs. Oh, yeah. Hitting that low end. <laughs> so far, just very well-constructed song. I like these distorted vocals, too. Kind of... Getting sort of some, like... Infant Annihilator Shadow of Intent vibes from these vocals, too, at moments. Video's nice, too. Yeah, they're doing a lot with the vocals. I, I love vocal variation. To me, that's usually the difference between a really okay death metal band and a super solid one that stands out. And yeah, this is, this is definitely doing it for me. And then aside from that, just the songwriting's really solid so far. Nice drumming, pretty technical, nice variation. Guitars too. Like we got this cool kind of melodic riff here. And then we cut it, yeah, now we got these like genty Meshuga riffs. <laughs> Super dope, yeah. Loving this. Yeah, I love the the way they're shifting between these different riffs and different styles. It's a little bit unpredictable, too, which way they're going to go each time. Which is something I can't say about most bands. we got this slower part, too. Uh, also reminds me a little bit of uh, the latest Croesus, which has been one of my favorite albums this year so far, and uh, Exocrine as well, of the like kind of more modern acts doing this stuff. Mixing the technical with the progressive. A nice little moody, kind of jazzy guitar solo. Spooky vibes, too. Right back into it, too. Yeah. yeah that's sick. Dude, these guys have the full package. Definitely going to keep my eye on this. I haven't listened to the whole album yet, I have it, but what I've heard so far is really good. All on par with this. Yeah, if they can carry this through the whole album, then this this may be something that uh, I want to really hold up there. Might even be worth its own review. Just to highlight all the cool little things that they're doing. Lows, man. Sick. You're talking about redefining my identity. I want to guarantee that I can still be myself. There isn't one. I don't know what this sample's from. All things change in a dynamic environment. Maybe somebody in the comments can let me know. But you still haven't answered my earlier question. Why did you pick me? Sick. Sick. Oh, <laughs> I also love these t-shirt designs. Oh my god. The Power Rangers one is badass. Oh my god. I love it. 
Then, do this band's just killing it in the merch game right now. Um, particularly, I got to show you this. Yeah, th there's been some really cool stuff. Like my, one of my favorites is the Black Dahlia murder with the uh, full D and D campaign that they did. But also, Zombie Shark. In addition to the CDs and cassettes, they did this action figure style <laughs> uh, thing with the full card on the back, and it has a little beat up flash drive that has the music on it along with a bunch of skulls and broken glass like <laughs> you can't you can't beat that like a plus for creativity on that one but let me know what you think of this song and uh who else i should react to um who you're most excited about having a new album coming out this year maybe too um, but stick around because there's plenty more of these videos and not just these kind of track reviews and commentaries, but also full album reviews, album roundups, tier lists, and the podcast where I actually get to interview all these very interesting and talented bands. Also in the description, you can find links to all of our social media, the email newsletter, and our Patreon and subscribe star if you want to make that extra jump to becoming a supporter. But that'll do it for this video. Flight of Icarus signing off, and I will see you in the trenches.